Hi there, obedient person. This year for the holidays, you'll get to enjoy some special restrictions to help you replace the Christmas spirit with the spirit of communism. It's beginning to look a lot like communism everywhere you go. This Christmas, it's not that you can't enjoy your family, it's just that you get to enjoy your family in different ways. The ways that we tell you, you can enjoy your own family. I'm not coming home this year, Mom. I've been ordered to stay at home. I probably won't see you before you die. Merry Christmas. That felt good. It's enjoyable to do my part. Your year of dedicated obedience to tyrannical governors is helping replace the normal joy of the holiday spirit with the increased joy of lockdown-related blessings, like increased depression, suicides, child abuse, domestic abuse, overdoses, unemployment, bankruptcies, and starvation. You should be proud of your obedience because it helped you contribute to these things. Warms my heart. Furthermore, this year the holidays are just going to be different. Instead of getting together with your friends and family in person and risking the transmission of joy, love, and connection, you are to practice socialism distancing. Tis the season to have unconstitutional authoritarian rules dictate what you can do. Would you like to be told you can't leave your own home? Told what you can and cannot do in your own home? And told that you can't celebrate Christmas? Well, this year, you are being told these things. And you can do all your holiday shopping nationally with Amazon as all local businesses have been exterminated. But in reality, you probably don't have any more money left to tithe to Amazon as we've helped you achieve poverty slash social equality. So instead of exchanging gifts, exchange glances of hunger pains with your loved ones because you don't have money to buy food either. Ooh, looks like you'll need more government because of what the government did to you so you can have some government handouts. Be sure to keep voting communism slash blue in the next election so we can continue protecting you from what we're doing to you. In exchange for your vote, we'll let you think your vote counts. Hey kids, you're in luck because the world's most trusted doctor has personally given Santa the shot. So if you don't get any presents, it's either because Santa's having an adverse reaction or it's because your parents were obedient enough to protect your family from income this year. Just look at this lovely holiday photo of my family and I enjoying the communism holiday. Put a mask on that kid now. Now that's better than how it used to be, isn't it? AOC's making a blacklist and she's checking it twice. Wouldn't it be a grand holiday treat if she can get all Trump supporters thrown in prison slash concentration camps? That way our democracy would be completely protected from freedom. For a number of years now, we've made it socially illegal for you to say, Merry Christmas. We've exchanged it with Happy Holidays and you went with it. Thank you for helping our efforts to erase religion because you can't have communism with freedom of religion. <laughs> we wouldn't want people following the Lord's guidance over our guidance. Oh yeah, and all churches are closed for the foreseeable future. I love a good coincidence. And then the three wise men greeted baby Jesus. Ah, I don't think we need to hear any more about that guy. But would you like to hear more about how your government is great? and protects you? Well, they've scared you, so you're scared, and now they're protecting you from what they told you to be scared of. And that makes them great and trustworthy. And it's communism. Wait, communism? But I thought all these restrictions were about a virus. Sure they are. This year, don't leave your home, don't gather, wear a mask, and there will be no dancing and no singing because it's not safe. However, what is allowed is fear, obedience, isolation, poverty, and therefore a growing dependency on your government. Because that all seems safe. And it would also be great if you could pretend that this year's restrictions are just going to be for this year. Because, <laughs> of course, we'll be glad to hand you your freedoms back after we've taken them. So for the holidays, please keep being obedient and handing us your freedoms. You're doing a great job of doing your part. As your supreme leaders, we wish you a very merry communist Christmas. Mmm, I like the taste of communism. One more thing, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Magnesium Breakthrough by Bioptimizers. Now, 
I gotta explain why I love bioptimizers very quickly because I'm about to get in this freezing cold water, 50 degrees, which is super cold. So, ah! Ah! Whoa! I feel alive. Anyway, I love magnesium breakthrough. I take it every night because it helps me de-stress. Using one key nutrient, you can significantly reduce a large amount of stress out of your life. And that key nutrient is magnesium. I, I feel like I'm burning. That's how cold I am. So I take magnesium breakthrough every single night because I do a lot of things to help myself de-stress. I get in cold water in the mornings, I meditate, I sleep well, but I also want to leverage nutrition to help me de-stress. We can unload a lot of stress through one key nutrient, magnesium. Now, the problem with a lot of magnesium supplements is there's only one weak form of magnesium in them. I can hate that! But Magnesium Breakthrough has all seven forms of magnesium that your body needs in order to effectively de-stress. The thing I love most about using Magnesium Breakthrough to de-stress is it doesn't take any extra time. I don't have to spend a minute in cold water. I don't have to spend 10 minutes meditating. You just take them and you feel the relief. I do it every evening and you can join me using Magnesium Breakthrough to de-stress your life. Just go to magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash JP. And to get yourself 10% off, use the discount code JP2020. Magnesium Breakthrough, ladies and gentlemen, I have hypothermia. See you next time. Woo! Woo! I did not bring a towel out. <laughs>